The next group that we want to discuss is group number eight. This is the tool length offset group. Now in this group, we find G43, G44, and G49. For most machines, we only use G43 and G49. G43 is the command for tool length compensation in a positive direction. That is above the workpiece, above the zero position in Z. Uh, for instance, if I wanted to use tool number one, I would call it into the spindle from the carousel. Before I can use it though, I have to let the machine know how long that tool is. How is this done? During the setup process, tool one was touched off to the part zero surface, as we can see here. From this position, a tool length distance offset was recorded. This tool length is referred to as the z-axis origin move to the part zero surface. So all we have done is move the spindle from the machine home position with tool number one in the spindle and then touch the end of the tool off on the workpiece and register the move distance. That is the H01 number. That's the number that gets registered. That H01 number is equal to the length of the actual tool. When G43 is called up in the program, we need to include the H01 value that was registered when we touched off the tool so that the machine knows which tool length needs to be compensated for. G43 must be used in conjunction with this height number and must have a Z location to go to when it is called up. G44, this code selects tool length compensation in a negative direction. The tool length offsets are subtracted from the commanded axis position. It is preferable if you do not experiment with G44 until you have much experience programming CNC mills. G49 is used to cancel the G43 or G44. This is used when a tool has completed its function and is sent back to the machine Z home position and another tool is going to be used. 